All right, YouTube, today we're going to play some standard. We're going to jump back in and play some more Turbo Fog. Jump into our league. I already got two trophies. Holy shnikes. Join match. I'm going to get my slippers for a slot. would like to play first. This hand is pretty solid. We need to hit another land, but if we hit another land, we can go Gift Rejuvenator. It's Teferi on four with... If we curve out, it's Teferi on four with a Fog. So that is what we're looking for. Alright, next turn, Moment of Truth. Come on, land. There we go. Uh, I'm going to play the Rejuvenator to just get a creature on the battlefield. It's not a guaranteed land, but it basically is. Get a little 1-1 one, one in play. We did hit another Fog, which is nice. I guess it's not nice here. So how we're gonna like set this up is we're gonna try to like Nexus on their end step and um, to ferry like if they go to counter it, which I don't imagine that they will. Oh, I did the wrong one, but that doesn't really matter here. Or if they like tap mana, then we're just gonna go for it. They could thought eraser us, yeah. So this probably takes my to ferry. Put a card on top. So let's chart a course. We like they're gonna be able to get rid of both of our fog, or at least a fog, which is nice. Oh, that's just the nut. Let's get rid of this. And now they need like heroes down, or they need um whatever it is, pretty bad. They need Vraska Contempt. And then we hit a Surge, which is just another good payoff card. Then we'll poke in there with our Rejuvenating Boy. Just untap two lands. So it looks like they do have a play. And it's got to be pretty much Contempt. We're not going to play our Nexus. We're just going to like sit on it because we like it's not a very good Nexus because we don't have a great payoff. But it also is going to make my opponent play weird because this Nexus could just kill them if we have like a Teferi to pair with it. Underrealm Lich. Okay. Oh, thank you there, Tio, Tio Manalo. I hope Brazil is good today. Now, we could Nexus right now. I guess we might as well. Let's Nexus. We're going to get it. We can get. We effectively, our Nexus is going to let us get two scries with this search. I think we will put that in our graveyard. All right. We're just going to, like, I think we're going to Nexus again. Try to chain something together here. Even the, the scries are a little bit of value, but like it sucked we didn't make a land drop there. Yeah. 
Uh, no, we're going to keep this con. Um, no, we're going to draw a chart, of course, because these fogs aren't that good. Oh, now they're pretty, still not that great. So we're going to go here, play to fairy. Tick up, and we've got fog plus nexus. So likely next turn we're in pretty good shape. It doesn't have another contempt. I'm here because I'm hosting Carrero Montes. I don't know what that is. Is that like a is that an event? Is that a is that a, is that pre-release or is that some kind of holiday? We're just gonna chump block this thing. Now playing around counter magic. Okay, so they have another contempt. All right, this is gonna get a little more tough because we only have one to fairy left in our deck. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. We will transform. So let's start off with Karn. Two cards under the reveal zone. Now we can chart. Ditch this. Play the land. I could just play the Rejuvenator. I think I want to play the Rejuvenator. Just get more lands out of my deck. Because, like... A way to a way an important thing with this deck is you just need more mana. Like you always just need mana. Always yield. Let's put the force in play. We, we milled over it to fairy, but we are gonna shuffle our deck next turn with this nexus. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten mana to work with. Eleven next turn. So we can go nexus. We can go to. We can start. Doing Nexus of Fate plus Search for his Kanta. Notion Rain. Yep, you got it. It's a good card. I think I'm going to chump with this Rejuvenator. Keep my... Because like he likely has a bunch of spot removal. So I think it's good for me to just keep my Karn's loyalty high. You, I buy MLL account yesterday. Magic Online, any tip to receive? No, not much. You should check out Card Hoarder if you have any questions. All right, so that's that's a little concerning because now we only have like one actual way to win left in our deck. I should have next my upkeep. Yeah. That was just a, a sequencing mistake from me. But with 30 cards left in our deck and in his Kanta, we should we we've got a good chance to find some gas. I mean that's like kind of gas. So we're gonna again we're gonna nexus in our upkeep. And we're doing this because we want the most chance like if we hit a we hit Nexus, we're gonna cast it. And then we want the most chances to draw Nexus again in our draw step, and there'll be four in our deck after we do this. We have one more Teferi, which would also be a pretty solid draw, but we're just hitting the Nexuses. Draw, hit another surge that we tap like a moron. My opponent's like, I can't F8 through this. Rip. Yeah.
There's another Nexus. Um, I have to stop tapping all of my blue mana when I go to activate this search. So let's tap this one. Because that's like a little thing that's kind of important. Like we could brick off here now and like stop our roll, which we did. Always yield, play another search, then pass. So we drew a bunch of cards and like, while we didn't kill our opponent, we likely um, have got a chance. Like we're in a good spot. There's only 26 cards left in our deck. We're going to get to be able to look at four, five, six cards a turn right now. And we can look at more if I want to just, like, use this search, flip it. My opponent does have, like, counterspell up now. I wonder why they didn't attack. So we'll respond to this. All right, let's take chart, of course. Yes, get rid of this field. Now, do I want to flip this? It's going to leave me through 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana, which means I can act. Yeah, I'll just flip this. Keep the untapped one. Draw. The old Rejuvenator Boy. All right, there's a Nexus. Just hope my opponent doesn't have a lot of counter spells. Though we do, we, we still have a Teferi left. So, like, even if my opponent, like, we're going to get to the point of the game where my opponent has to counter every single one of my spells. Because I've got one, one, yeah, well, there's one Teferi left in our deck. So, we're going to upkeep. Oh, what is this? Ooh, didn't play around that. That's going to make things a little harder. Um, do we want to thin a land out? We probably do. Oh, there's a Teferi. So we do have to kind of worry about, with only having one more way to win, we do have to figure out how to do that while playing around, um, gosh darn it, while playing around uh, a way for them to kill our Teferi. Because theoretically, if our opponent doesn't tap any lower than this, then we can't we can't actually beat them. If they exile my Teferi, we're just gonna like. I guess they'll mill themselves out. Well, no, because I'm gonna take it. I'll just discard my go up to eight cards and discard. But that might not even do it because, um, we're gonna have to like survive for however many more twenty nine more turns. So we're actually, I think I'm actually pretty likely to lose this game because we, we just bricked off, which is my fault for not playing the search. Yeah, I think I punted this game away. Because we, we like had to win that turn, they were tapped really well. We just didn't. 
Give me one second. Dog was making noises. I guess my opponent could mill themselves out theoretically. So they have one assassin's trophy and three contempts in the graveyard. I guess they're worried. I mean, this is actually kind of, I guess it's a solid play for my opponent, but. They're gonna mill themselves out, I think. Cause this is gonna like this is not you have to do this. One in your hand with the rest in the graveyard. Yeah, so they're losing three cards a turn. What an odd game. It's kind of going to be hard for them to kill us through damage because we've got these fogs. We're at 20, 28 life, and we've got the Settle the Wreckage and a bunch of chump blockers. They're main decking Disdainful Stroke. That's good to know. Carnage Tyrants are going to be sweet out of the sideboard for this matchup, I think. Though they're probably going to have... Um, This should coax out a... What are you chewing? Stop. No chewing, buddy. This might coax out an Assassin's Trophy. But at this rate, yeah, they're definitely going to mill out before we do. Because they only have... They're basically like losing three cards a turn off the library. So they're on a five-turn clock. Yes, yeah, now we're even in cards. Yeah, sure, we'll put this. I think I'm just going to like pass because I don't think. They're going to lose before we are. But I can take infinite turns, but with them being able to kill, my only way to... Uh, with them being able to kill my Teferi, that's the only way I have to win the game. And if I keep these nexuses in my hand, eventually I'll just discard and I'll never deck. And they're going like they're on, they're on a three-turn clock. My time's getting low, but we're gonna have a pretty good. Yeah, you get that. I just don't see how they're gonna kill us without fighting over like a lot of fogs. And then that's how they're going to die. Like, because they're going to go low on mana. They're going to go low on mana. And then we'll just fog them out of the game. I am going to, like, fight really hard over, make sure this doesn't get an activation. A thought eraser. Okay. I 
So my opponent's my opponent has to kill me this turn or they're just dead. What a weird game. They had to take their own Underrealm Lich off the battlefield. Alright, we're not going to block. I am going to Root Snare. Pass through our turn, and then we'll fog on their turn, and then my opponent's dead. Yeah, there's no cards left in their library. Huh, what a, what a weird game. Off auto yield because we don't want to let them. Now we root snare. Oh, they don't draw. Huh. Oh, so there's, if you would draw a card, instead look at the top three cards of your library and then put them into your graveyard. Oh, so they never actually draw. Well, I guess we're going to go for it here. I mean, I'm sure that they have like a million Braska's Contempts loaded up. But we'll make them show us. We'll make them show us the Contempt. Huh. I didn't know this, this prevented them from milling out. Actually, I can play Teferi, bounce this, and then kill them. I just need to make sure to not give them back priority. Or if they just counter it, then I'm dead. Yeah. This is weird because we both we both effectively just drawn this game. All right, so I guess it goes to one of our clocks run out. It would have been, if we could have, if, if Teferi would have resolved there, which is asking a lot, we could have gone Karn Sundering Bounce Underrealm Lich. You have to beat him and casting Nexus of Faith repeatedly is not advanced the game. Okay. All right, yeah, I, I didn't even know how that worked, Cyclone. All right, so we got to. Speed it up a little bit. But the Carnage Tyrants are a good win condition. We'll get our own negates. Um, I like cutting, like, Gift of Paradise in some of these matchups because it lets them, like, Assassin's Trophy my land. So 
Sort by converted mana cost. We don't need all the fogs. We'll cut down to three fogs. This is how we'll do it here. Settlement wreckage might not be needed. Let's just get one Lyra in there to help like win, us win a game quickly. And they can... Um, I'm actually going to board the Knights in also because Knight of Autumn is like my hedge against Sorcerer's Spyglass, which is pretty easy for him to have. So let's just go like this. Casting next to Fade repeatedly is not advancing the game. That's odd, because, like, my opponent isn't advancing the game either. You know, like, they're just sitting there, because if I pass to them, they... Oh, we got a mulligan. If I pass to them, then theoretically we'll keep this one, hopefully, at a green source. So if I pass them the turn... Oh, I'll put this on the bottom. Then... They, I should have played the forest, I think. Because if I hit um, blue-green check land. Because if I pass to them, they can't attack with... I guess they can attack with like one of their creatures. So I guess, I guess yeah, they can attack with a creature. Because if they attack with two creatures, then I just take infinite... If they tap out, I just take infinite turns... And kill them that way. I'm not going to run out of this Knight of Autumn because I would like to be able to blast a Sorcerer's Spyglass. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. That all makes sense. Take my Teferi. This is where I wish I had the commit memory still that I used to play because like we could have shuffled back in and then I would have gotten him pretty easily with all that mana. All right, well, now we can run out one of these. So let's make this a 3-4. And then we'll start to rumble. Okay, I just kind of contempt it. That's all right. I don't mind him brasses. He only has so many brasses and counters. I'm gonna hold this Knight of Autumn. Again, we just don't want to get blasted by a by a sorcerer's spyglass. Which he might not have. was interesting to learn. <clears throat> We're in trouble. We need to hit a blue mana so that we can just turn on this chart, of course, but we don't even want to discard any of our other cards because they're pretty solid. So we'd hope the chart return turns into something that we want. I wonder if they're tanking on playing Lazal. I'm not here to watch you play old standard. I'm here to watch your opponents. Yeah, so I'd have to buy all the cards, Rafi. We have to wait a day or two until I can get new ones because the prices have to stabilize from card order. So, but I am happy you are practicing for tomorrow. Definitely practicing for tomorrow. I'm going to restart. I have to restart Moto after every game. That's weird the Lich doesn't, like, if you would draw a card, instead look at the top three. So it's not like, it is a replacement effect. Okay. Man, that Underrealm Lich leaves, gives some serious inevitability.
All right, let's chart. I might counter this. So I think we're going to get rid of the Sundering. Though the Sundering lets me bounce a Underground Lich if we get into that weird scenario later in the game. I think I'm just going to get rid of the Disdainful Stroke. I probably shouldn't have brought that in because they don't have that many cards. Like all their cards, all I want to counter are their counter spells. Yeah, that was a bad sideboard in from the home team. Like, it does hit the Lich, but... <sighs> Gotta get some more coffee. In a second. Took my dog to the dog park this morning. So then I'm taking that Night of Autumn. I mean, we are, we are like, on a serious clock here. All right, so let's try to nexus on their upkeep, see if we can get a couple turns out of this. Worst comes to worst, like, I'll make them fight over this on their turn if they want to. They might just let it resolve and be like, okay, but... All right, so they negate that. Unmurmured Ego. Choose a card name. Search your opponent's graveyard. All right. Yeah, that's good. This deck looked nice from my opponent. This deck looked very sweet. The combination, like, I think that their man, I don't know how good their man is. Looks like they've got double, they're probably just, they're probably like a blue-black deck that is splashing for like Underrealm Lich and Assassin's Trophy. Let me actually restart Moto here. So let me go, because Moto is going to tweak out. Can hardly handle all that's going on here. Yeah, that deck looks nice. I appreciate everyone showing up and hanging out today. This early morning Saturday stream session. My name is Dylan Hovey, and I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. That's on the stream there. They're the best bot chain in the business. So if you have any magic on my needs, you should check out Card Hoarder. There's something on my mic. On my thing. So watch out, everybody. Okay. Um, linked below is a store called uh, Gamer Craze in upstate New York. That's where I learned to play magic. So you guys should check them out. Their Crystal Commerce is linked. They buy and sell at a competitive, uh, competitive prices to foster a college environment. So that's where you want to buy from. And if you want to talk magic with me, check me out on Twitter. And all of my streams are archived on YouTube. So we should be loading up now. I did like that. I think it was sweet. I think if we, if, Rafi, if we 4-1 this league, I might might do a sealed one after this. I'm going to get some more coffee while we're waiting. FYI, I'm going to need my Jaces back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I always keep, I always forget. I haven't used them. It's time for me to return to MTGO. Well, yes. We can do that right after the stream, Rafi.
like on Monday. Yeah, we can do it right after the stream. What are you up to today, Rafi? Hey, leave it. Leave it. Good boy. Um, we should. I'm going to. I, I, another card I want to try is, excuse me, is the Tristani card. You know what I'm also kind of excited for? And, like, I'm looking into the future. But, like, next set, when you can get, when you get Breeding Pool, you can play it in this deck. It, you can actually play Land of War Elves in this deck, which would be kind of sweet to go, like, Elves into either Rejuvenator or Gift into Teferi. Baltimore, during the day, with Meg. I'm so confused. Oh, there are more Megans in the world. Well, Nathan's coming over to this afternoon to hang out. We're probably just going to, like, play Magic slash watch a stream or do something like that. If you all want to come over, we can do that as well. Dude, she's in Vegas. My wife is in Vegas. <laughs> After you're done hanging out with my wife, you're going to go to my, <laughs> my place. <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> Love you, buddy. All right, we're going to keep this hand. We have a search for his Kanta. We have a settle in case I'm playing an aggro deck. Oh, my problem against a five. That sucks. Oh, we have the aggro deck. So we're going to play Forest next. I mean, it's a pretty solid start from them. Go one into two on a mold of five. It definitely needs a little bit of acceleration. Like, if we hit a Gift or a Rejuvenator next turn, that would be awesome. Man, this is... We're going to have them deal four damage to me, but this is, like, one good start. Eleven... So we're not going to put Root Well, I kind of want to put Root Snare in. Because Root Snare is going to let me go, like, Teferi. The problem is we, we need to, like, start fogging. So we're not... We're going to draw this. This has been, like, a really good start for my opponent. How's it going this morning, Archmage? Three O pre-release stray cats are pretty dope. I'm not sure that stray cats are pretty dope. So we're probably just gonna okay. We're gonna take the four damage, fog, and then set up for settle the wreckage next turn. This is a pretty reliable, like, turn six accrue a lot of advantage turn. So, put Gift of Harris in your graveyard. No. So, we hit a land next turn. We can play Teferi, untap, and have settle, and then be able to nexus the next turn. My opponent is going to crack me for a lot here, so I might not get to play Teferi. This is going to put me to 8. They're going to crack me to 3. So with their last card, Lightning Strike, then I, I don't think I can beat that. Or if it's Shock. Because, like, they'll just... No, okay. So, no, we draw this. All 
right, we hit fog. Untap, untap. So, so as long as we can fade this draw step, we should be okay. But we do have to definitely fade the draw step. Uh, we might as well just settle the wreckage. We can't beat a lightning strike or a shock anyways. And we can't beat like a Vichino Pyromancer. So let's just use all of our mana. They drew a lightning strike. Man. Oh, that sucks. Generous Stray. One, two. Oh, that one. Yeah, we were probably going to, like, if we could untap there, we were good. But that was a really good draw from my opponent. Mull of five, like, that's pretty impressive. That is very impressive from our opponent. I want this to be the Tristani. That's the card I'm looking to try out. Get rid of these charter courses. They're just a tad slow. Get rid of these. i got to fix my numbers here because, like, one card's obviously off. I also think these settle the wreckages are bad because like people just know how to play around this. So I think I think playing a settle deck is not good. I think the Nova is really good because nobody plays around this card. So we'll cut one of these settles. But I think the cleansing Novas are awesome right now. The settles people are just like I think all of like the four mana instants are pretty bad. Like people can play people can like punish you for trying to hold up settle and they can punish you by trying to hold up. Um, can uh, Vrask not content? Uh, Chemistry's in sight. This hand's not that good, but our mana is gonna be really set up. Yeah, I think Nova is where it's at. I think Settle the Wreckage is awful. I think people have figured that out, and the green white decks are playing Shalai. I almost want to keep this hand because the ramp is so good. And this is a body that's going to trade with one of their creatures, or it's going to eat a removal spell. I'm going to keep this. I like I like keeping hands with this deck that have a lot of mana. Though we are going to have to draw something. We do have like four gifts and four Knight of Autumns, so we have a lot of ways to gain life. I wouldn't keep this hand if I was on the draw. Dude, those dog pictures were so awesome. Yesterday, from like that little thread that was going on, Tanner. We'll play this one so that we have the option. Yeah, we are greedy, but like this deck is like super mana hungry. So I think playing towards, like, you would rather have too many lands than not enough lands in this deck, always. Because now we got to turn four to fairy. All right, so we hit a we hit a nexus of fate and a fog. They're on the bottom now. We're not going to block because we want to be able to chump for Teferi. Dude, Phil is the man. So block here next turn. Yeah, we're just going to take this shot. Play our homeboy, because this means that all of our fogs are live, because the other one's a Convoke one. Okay, Cleansing Nova is also really good. Next turn, we get to Nexus and Teferi, which is nice. When are we getting the Philly Cam? You want Philly Cam right now? Oh, we just lied down. All right, we're going for a ride. Philly boy. Hey, Phil. Say hi to chat, bud. I hope chat can see you. So mine goes nuts barking at someone. Dude. This right here. We still have the greatest emote of all time for our stream. Two, four... So they're going to kill our Teferi, which, I mean, isn't that great, but it is nice at least that we get to clear the board. Dude, Phil's the man.
One, two, three, four, five, six. We can't Nova plus, but yeah, cleansing Nova is just really good. I should leave up. I should bluff a spell pierce. We don't have it, but like it's a card that we could have. Risk factor. That sucks. This card's awesome. I think I'm going to take the first one. Okay, so there's Pyromancer. So Pyromancer's going to push the four, so we have to let them draw next turn. I could have, I guess, I think I should have Nexus there. Yeah, I think I think it would have been I think it was better for me to Nexus. I'm gonna trade, let them obviously we're gonna let them draw cards. And hopefully we can get a little traction here. Yeah, dude, this browbeat is awesome. Oh. So if we don't die, this card's gonna win us the game. Yeah. We can't, yeah, we, we need this. Put Lyra in the graveyard. No. And now if we get to untap with Lyra, then we're going to win, but that's a tough, it's a tough sell. They do need to have two out of the three cards be burn spells. And if two out of the three cards are burn spells, then, like, good games. Hey, leave it, buddy. Don't chew that. You have toys. I buy you so many toys and you chew other stuff. Like, what the heck, Phil? Alright, um... No, we'll let you draw three. We are just going to gain ten, but... There you go. Good boy. <clears throat> now we're going to uh, Nexus on our upkeep just to give us... Like, this is just like proper Turbo Flag mechanics. You should just make it always so... Yeah, you should always make it so... Well, we haven't done it yet. But we'd be dead if they had two Wizard Lightnings already. You should always make it so whenever you go to draw a card, there's the maximum amount of Nexuses in your deck. If you can. Like, obviously, sometimes you can't settle the wreckage into my graveyard. I guess this is better than a random draw, but it's not that great. Because they're going to have to attack to deal damage to me. So I guess we're going to draw this. Especially considering we're just going to turn this Lyra sideways. The settle gets a lot better once you have Lyra's in your deck, though, because, like, Lyra just dictates what is going on. Put Knight of Honor in the graveyard. No. That's a guess. That draw is so sweet. And this is, this is the sweet part about this deck is, like, there's, like, you just win games out of nowhere. Like, we went from 2 to 16 life in two turns. <clears throat> what do you mean, next C Tannin? Next I. Okay. <laughs> Nexuses. Nexers. Does this card hit a creature? This card doesn't hit. Risk Factor doesn't hit a creature, right? It just goes upstairs. Yeah, if I hit a creature, that would be... That'd be pretty sweet. So, on the draw, we could cut a search for another settle. Like, search for his cant is, is like a really important card in this deck, though. Like, it's really hard to cut any number of these because they're just your engine cards.
I think we're going to keep it. Like, I could cut a fog, but, like, cutting a fog for a settle doesn't seem that great. I really don't want to cut any of my engine cards. We're on the draw. We could cut a land, but we're cutting a land for a four drop. Now nah, we just want to curve out here. Man, we just... No, yeah, there's nothing... The old, well, that's because we boarded out Charter Course. Oh, Moto's tweaking out. Like, you can see these aggro decks, you cut your charts. Yes. I definitely think that we might... Well, Moto's losing it. I definitely think that this deck might end up being on the back shelf. Oh, Heater. Oh, this hand is so good. This deck might end up being on the back shelf until you get, like, Breeding Pool. Because once you get Breeding Pool... You've got eight dual lands plus your forest that lets you cast land of war elves on turn one. And that's going to be, I think that's going to be pretty sweet. Hey, Tim, how you doing? When do we get to play fun combo decks? We, I, get, I can play, um, I can play more decks, standard decks as soon. We got to wait a couple days because I got to wait for card hoarders like prices to stabilize. And then they'll start putting them out to their loan program. That's a good draw as well. I think we're just going to gift into Nova. And then we'll follow up with our Knight of Autumn. Yeah, we'll just yield. I do think this card is awesome. Yeah, are there any Ravager cards that go into lands there, Tim? Man, so what are we, what's happening? We got, did I have to play the Knight last turn? Did I just like zone out? Seven, we go to four. I mean, we're going to get a four for one here, but. Whoa. Flame of Keld, okay. That's not that great, but now it's like, do I have to go play Knight of Autumn, gain four life, and then have a fog up? I probably do. Because, like, cleansing over at one, they draw three cards is, is not really where I want to be. Gain for life. <clears throat> I think the only way that I win this game is they brick and then play more creatures to the board. But if they go like risk factor here, then it's all over. We could have destroyed Flame of Kaladin. Yeah, that, I'm not sure that's better than gaining life, Archmage, but it's something that I could have thought about. Mm hmm. Another flame. Oh, gross. Oh, how do we win? They're going to draw two. So they're going to draw three cards next turn. And we're just dead as a doorknob to a burn spell. We could just play Rejuvenator to get more lands into play. And then also have pause for reflection. I think I like just developing my mana and then having a fog up. Let's 
Sign stroke is game changer. I'm hoping you can push out the three MC enchantment decks. Like, what do you mean three CMC enchantment decks? I think I'm gonna play Rejuvenator and then Man, those were some those are some good ones to skip over. Lava Runner, we can beat that. We can beat that. Oh, man. One, two, three. Oh, wow, we have a fog up, too. Destroy all creatures. No, let's not. Let's keep a fog up. Let's not tap like a dumbass. Holy shnikes. Now we need a, just a card that helps us get ahead. And really hope that they don't draw a burn spell off here. Wow, they must have nothing. Miracles and Mono Red, Bass Breaks. Okay, okay. I really hope we hit a Knight of Autumn or like a Lyra or something pretty soon. I think we're going to hold back. Like, if they're running on bricks, just being able to threaten the block. Um, SCG Philadelphia. That was my first top eight. First and only. That was a pretty awesome event. <clears throat> we definitely, um, we had some, we had a serious feel bad there. So, um... My teammate is playing lands versus storm. He's on the storm side. And like deck deck sheets are face up. And my opponent's got his opponent's got one surgical in his sideboard. It was a team. My opponent's got one surgical in his sideboard. And um Delray goes like end of turn Hercules recall to bounce all of my opponent's lock pieces. And then he draws his Tendrils of Agony for the turn. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, shoot. What did I do here? No. Why have I not been able to? So you draw three cards. He, he drew his Tendrils of Agony for the turn. So he had to go... He had to crack his LED to go off. And he, like, he was sitting there. He looked at me and he's like, we just died of... Surgical, but if he doesn't have surgical, we win. I was like, dude, just go for it. All right, GG's opponent. And his opponent drew the surgical. Yeah, it was so savage because Delray sat there and thought, like, he knew that, because I was watching his game because I got steamrolled by Tron. And he knew, so well, nice start to the league. He knew that as soon as he bounced everything, that he could win through surgical extraction if he didn't draw it. Because he would just go like um tendrils, tendril, he would like tutor, tutor, tutor. I like that tournament a lot. I, I like the venue and I like the places around it. I I had fun there. Baltimore's my favorite place to go. But then he just drew the tendrils for his turn and he had sideboarded out his empty of the Warrens because 
because of Tabernacle. So he was just like, his opponent's looking through his deck, and he's like, do you not have another way to win? And he's like, well, let me check. And then he's like, I don't have another way to win. And that was just so, at least that team won, and those guys were cool. So we did lose, we lost to like the winners, but. You're talking about the tournament, do you like the cities or the tournaments just not go very well? Because <clears throat> I've never won in Baltimore, but I, I like the city a lot. Yeah. That was a really that was a really awesome tournament. Like Delray won a lot of really cool matches. Like he was playing against um he's playing against Black Red Reanimator. And oh geez. Yeah, losing the fire. <laughs> I mean, from what I've heard from your podcast, at least you're not alone. You and Rossum have that going on. <clears throat> You guys can, like, bond with each other. You have someone to... Someone to, uh... Um... Talk stories with. I... I want to ask Rossum. So, I've only played against Rossum once. But I definitely want to ask him. I had a good time playing against him. I want to ask him about the chicken. Why you guys call him chicken. Yeah, that's that's just tough. That is so tough. Because, like, it's hard to have the mentality of if I don't win the tournament, it's a bust. But after you've been there three times, I can imagine that's pretty tough to deal with. We're going to keep this hand. If we hit another land, we've got, we're going to turn four to fairy. So land pass is not good. Hopefully we hit a blue source here. All right, so playing against Boros. Oh, going into the Pyromancer deck. Nice. So we're probably going to Gift instead of Rejuvenator because I just want the Life Pad. Well, I guess we, we just want the extra because, like, the Gift's better in conjunction with Teferi. Uh, we're not going to have time for that. Well, now the Rejuvenator... Is better because of the the. So if we play Rejuvenator, no. Well, basically, if we hit a land either way, we can go to Fairy plus Pause because of the Gifted land. So yeah, let's just Gift. Money is great, and I'm proud of being there. But yeah. I'm on the same scale when it comes to, like, um, I, don't, I think we just want to land. Like, when it comes to PTQs. Like, I go to a lot of PTQs, and, like, I win a lot. You win a lot of store credit, but, like, you know, like, I basically, like, I, I did well and got a lot of store credit stuff after that. But, like, after a while, it's just, like, mind-numbing. How it, it's just not about that. And it's, like, I would just give all of the store credit I've won just to get to an RPTQ. And like, I'll talk to one of my friends about it and he's like, well, dude, you got to like grind out, you know, your KCI deck from this. Yeah, exactly. He's like, well, dude, you got to grind out your KCI deck from this season. And I'm like, it is just not worth it. Like it, it's not worth it at all. What is this? Intervention? That, that just went upstairs? Yeah. One of my first... Oh, that's awesome. And won four PPTQs in a row. That's not a bad way to do it. Yeah, so we're just going to fog here, and then we're going to... Just hopefully we get to start to Teferi. We're going to at least accrue some value off of our Teferi. Where's this going? This is all going at me. I guess we might as well just use our mana because we want to flip this search anyways, even though this isn't going at Teferi, which is what we really want to keep. Uh, no, we just want to hit land drops now. So draw this. Tick up. All right. We should be in good shape now. I hope I counted right there. I didn't really... 
count if I had Nexus mana. I would, I would assume basically anytime you have a gift and you're untapping with, with Teferi, you've got Nexus mana. But to be honest, Death Shadow first appearing in Modern. Tell my creepy views and stop playing it. Stop playing it. Yeah, I'm I'm here and like I don't think like my local area is tough. Like this is where um you know Luke Purcell's from here. Like all like a lot of people that are on the top of the SCG leader leader border from I should that was a mistake. That was just like a not like talking mistake there. You should always whenever you go to draw a card, you should try to have as many nexuses in your deck as possible. Um and I get and, like, the PTQs are just savage down here. They're just so, like, winner take all is just so difficult. All right, so we've got land, so I think we're going to be looking for some gas here. <coughs> all right, so now we're going to play this. So we're going to have search or settle plus root snare up. Like, I'll, I'll go talk to my, uh, we have Jody Keith, and you said Tom Ross, Brian Bosco's here too, Jonathan Jogi's still down here, some other ones. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty solid, I mean, like, as good as Nikolic, Luke Purcell, that, that guy that's just got an article for Star City Games, then there's a little, there's a young kid, um, there's two young kids, um, Josh Warsaw, who just won a, I, who just won a cla modern classic, and then there's, they're going to shock this on their upkeep. Okay. Um, Josh Warsaw, who just won a classic, and um, Jack Hash, who lost to uh, Emma Handy in the finals of the classic that she won. And we've got a good. Yeah, Abe, yeah. Like, we've got a solid. Like, I, I definitely. Like, I won an IQ a little while ago and do well in the PTQs. And it, it's something that's like, I'm pretty proud of. But then I also have those PTQs where, like, I just go O2. My wife's like, what happened? And I was like, oh, I played against, you know, I played against people that are just better than I am. And, like, they got me. You fanboy for Abe? He's very good. I I've never really talked to Abe. But I have I've watched Abe play, and like, he, you know, he just knows what's going on, and it's he's, he's just a very good player. So we're gonna ditch this. It's gonna flip our search. Dece. draw a card. All right, we didn't need another Teferi. So at least we can start double searching. So there's Karn one two. Yeah, so we can actually play Karn two. This is where the deck gets rolling. When you play against these, like, kind of slower, derpier mid-range decks, you just crush these decks. Except that Sultai deck. That Sultai deck we played against in the beginning of the day was pretty nice. I should have played my tap land. That was a mistake. All three times. Oh, okay, at least you made the final speech. And the only time in my life I was like, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. My wife's really good about that. Like... She's very much like, because at least when it comes on like the local level, whether it's an IQ or a PTQ, like all I really care about is winning. And, um, you know, and my wife's, my wife will go, why are they doing this? On, is there a reason why they're doing this on there? Oh, because this is on top of their deck and they don't want to draw it. Okay. Okay. I was like, why are they doing this in their upkeep? That makes sense. That's a, that's a really good play for my opponent. Yeah. Dude, we are wholesome AF, Archmage. Dude, this frenzy is just going to kill me, I think. We're very close to, like, killing our opponent. I'm not going to let this go. But, like... If my opponent gets like if my opponent gets a couple more turns, like they're gonna they're gonna end up getting there with us. We we need to like we probably have to start winning this turn or next turn. 
All right, there's the chain gang. So how much mana do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, this card's sweet. Okay, so let's take the pause for renewal. <clears throat> I think we're going to go up with this because we can just pause and we want to just get more access to... Um, we want more access to cards from our Karn because my opponent's just not going to be able to kill our Karn. The root snare is nice because we can... Okay, so there's Nexus. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so now the game's likely over. Yeah, we lost the last one, Rafi. So now we're gonna start next. We're gonna start searching our upkeep because we've got one, two, three. So use this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So now we can like hit a search, cast it in our upkeep, and then look to just have more cards to draw. All right, we missed. But the gift is is nice because it gains us quite a bit of life. So let's do the Teferi first. Hit root snare. I'm going to go down on the Karn and get this chart, of course. Because if we chart into a Nexus, we can cast it. Which we did. So let's play our tap land. And the game's, game's pretty much over now. Because we're looking at like 14 cards a turn or something like that. Not, not exactly. Like 14 is, you know... Uh, an arbitrary number for a lot of cards. Arbitrary. Uh, let's just ditch a pause for reflection. Upkeep Nexus. Or upkeep search, then upkeep Nexus. Make a land drop. Um, let's go up with Karn. We're going to get Karn pretty high, so we can just go down, down, down. Okay, so they gave me the Rejuvenator. I shouldn't have played my land. Okay, so we're going to untap, and then it's Kanta. The nice thing about this deck with time is that you either get run over quickly, or, so like... Those games that you are losing. Uh, we probably can get rid of an island at this point. And I guess hitting our land drop support. So let's get rid of a root snare. Let's get rid of another root snare. Upkeep. You just get run over, so like you don't really have to worry about time. There's Nexus. And we're going to ult this Teferi in a, in a little while, so... All right, they scoop it up, which is nice of them. She me, she's met a lot of my teammates too, so she has a vested interest. Todd Steve. So, yeah, you said all your teammates were like at your wedding too, which was gas. I wish that I could have had. So, like, I wish I could have had more of my magic friends at my wedding. One of the big problems is that we didn't have like our wedding just had like eighty people in it. 82 people that went to it, so it got a little, um, we couldn't, like, and the hard part about a lot of my magic friends is when we got married last year, they weren't necessarily super close with Megan, so it kind of feels bad to invite people to our wedding that, like, are really good friends with me, but aren't super close with her when we were, like, when there are other people we could invite that we both know well. So we're going to cut these charts. I actually like cutting the Karn against these decks, which I keep the Sundering in because Sundering, we're, we're still the same number of legends. Um, my sideboard's wicked out of whack. Because, like, I have all these cards that I want to bring in against this aggro deck, but I don't have enough to take out. So we're probably just going to cut this Sundering. 
And cut this. I think I'm gonna just cut the settles from this deck and play like three Novas in my sideboard. Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> I think we had exactly eighty-two. I should probably should keep the settles in here, but I think I think that like I want to move away from settles and just play a bunch of Novas because. Nobody plays, like, everybody can play around Settle. And everyone can play around, like, Chemister's Insight, like, make that turn awkward. It is nice that we're going to be able to explode mana. I do like this Rejuvenator a lot in this deck. Uh, okay. We actually had Cookies. We had Cookies and... Uh, uh, we're going to want... I actually don't think we want this Root Snare because we have one in our hand already. We just want a payoff card. We basically want Teferi. My opponent missed a land drop. Jeez. All right, that, that counts. Um, let's get this. <clears throat> we were supposed to... We had about the same number. I have a super small family. So most of my friends from the side. Supposed to have like 110. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're just going to throw this guy away. I would like to be able to milk this Root Snare, or this Cleansing Nova, but we also could just jam this Lyra, and that probably will end the game. Um, we're going to put this in the graveyard, because we have a Rejuvenator to get us more lands. Yeah, I think we're just going to jam this Lyra down down their throat. They're missing land drops, so we might as well just try to end the game. Something I also like in your game one matchups with having these rejuvenators in the deck is they turn on your charter courses. Uh, flash, there's nothing. One according to plan. That sucks, Flash Man. Oh, yeah, that, and they just missed, missed their land drop. I'm going to go refill my coffee. I'll be right back. My backpack got driven home with the people I stayed with the majority of my life. Tough weekend. You punted mat punted four matches and lost your clothes. What have you been playing, Flashman? I definitely want to explore. I want to play a Selesnia deck. My favorite deck of all time. My favorite standard deck of all time is Green White Tokens. Like Evolutionary Leap, Den Protector, Green White Tokens. So I want to bring that back. Red. I think the red deck's really good, too. Nice, nice. Hopefully we can pull out two in a row here. From what I've seen, I don't think we need as many counter spells, and I want more life gain. Like I think I want, I think Tristani is like better than Lyra overall, but I want to try Tristani in this deck. I would like to play first. Sand solid. It's really hard to turn up a search for scant in this deck. I definitely think, like, as a whole right now in our world, we just need more positivity. Like, that's something that... So, like, I, I would... That, those are the kind of people I want to be around. There's not a lot of positivity going on in the world right now. And just any more of that you can get is always good. We had to turn four to fairy if we hit a land. Turn four to fairy into fog is the nut. We got blue, red. Okay. 
I would assume this is a pretty poor matchup for us. Because, like, cheap counter spells are not good for the home team. What do you mean? Like, what cards do you think are... Do you mean, like, missing them, like, people just aren't exploring? Or just, like, don't have the cards? Yeah, he's on Storm. I only played against one Brainstorm deck. Hmm. Well, isn't... What are we going to do? I think we're going to leave this guy around because if we can attack with it, if we draw a Charter Course, then we're in pretty solid shape. I really don't want to run... We'll put this. I don't really want to run into a Counterspell here, but I also don't want them Chemistry Insighting. Because this is their draw turn. So this is where I kind of want to put the screws to them. But I could also do that by charter coursing. We didn't block last turn, so I think I'm actually just going to attack and charter course. Because we might find something to do with our other three mana. Which we did. So let's. I was sad to miss the Legacy Open in Baltimore last weekend. I wanted to go, but I, I was like, my friend, one of the actually the guy that the standard player that I team with in Philadelphia, his brother, I think we're just gonna take four. His brother was up from South Africa and they went to Vegas. So he well geez, this is like a maybe they don't have like counter spells here. Black Knight is Austin Collins. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going to want this. We're going to want this if our Teferi resolves. If our Teferi doesn't resolve, it's kind of dead, so I think I'm going to bin it. All right, so it's Teferi time. I'm going to guess that the deck that's got... Risk factor in it doesn't have counter spells, at least in the main deck. I guess wrong. That's a counter spell that makes sense. Schultz cubed is Schultz cubed. Um. I think we're going to let him draw. Oh, it's so bad if we let them draw. But if we just, like, take four, they counter our fog, then we're dead. So I think we got to let him draw here. That card's been pretty solid, that risk factor. Like, I think the cards I've been most impressed by are, like, I think risk factor has been really good and... There have been other cards that have impressed me, but I think that one has honestly impressed me the most. The Chain Gang. Alright, let's... Fog. Some of the good cards aren't played enough. Sorry, it's not playing. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can cast this and just explore. It's not going to flip our search anyways, so we might as well just draw it. We're pretty much dead to a counter spell regardless here, so we're just going to go for it. Because he smoked our Rejuvenator. Oh, 
that's a good one. The problem is they're just going to play around this stupid thing. And, like, they're just going to, like, make me tie my mana up. I almost just want to bend this and then activate my search for Escanta. We have a pause for reflection. Gets me another mana. It's, it's like, super greedy to do that. But, like, this card's just been awful in this deck since I started playing it. Since I got back in the standard here for the Ravnica. That they're just going to, like, derp in with these two. But I guess they don't have a counter spell. It clears the way. Yeah, I'm going to draw it. And it's absolutely obvious what, what I have. Like, they would 100... Like, if I hit a spell that I could cast, then I would. And, like, the only spell that... Like, it's either this or, like, Chemistry's Insight. And I obviously, I would not keep Chemistry's Insight in this scenario. Oh, jeez. If Goldfish didn't have... <laughs> I cannot believe that resolved. And maybe my opponent just has enough left over where they don't care, but I think... Oh, what are they doing here? You gotta get into your next turn, buddy. <clears throat> or into your next main phase. Whoa. That's kind of a card we don't. We obviously do care about it because our life total is so low, but we can just go over the top of this Karn. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, we're going to cast this. It does kind of suck that we can't activate. Like, we're one mana off activating Search also, but I guess we're two off, so we're not even that close. It would be nice if we had something to do with it. Yeah. Okay, so they just shocked me. So we are dead next turn. We are bona fide dead. Okay, so there's Teferi. Teferi has to tuck Karn, or he's just going to minus and get back the Wizard's Lightning. And now we pray. Goblin Electromancer. Shock my Teferi. At least that's not shocking me. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can't, as Kanta and Nexus in our upkeep, so we might as well take a draw step. All right. All right, Gift of Paradise gains us some life. Put it on this so it doesn't get fielded. So that feels nice. They didn't have a burn spell last turn. But they can just, oh, okay. I don't really understand what my opponent's deck is doing. Like, they haven't chemistry's insight at once. And they have all these burn cards, but they also have Karn. And I think, like, chemistry's insight is probably just better in their deck than Karn is. Especially with these Electro Boys. Okay, so there's that guild gate we gave them. Okay, so they have one card that we don't know about. So now we can Nexus in our upkeep... Because we can or search because we can hit a nexus. Oh, I want to take this to fairy. To 
Teferi, untap. I think Teferi's better. Like the long, like if we're gonna win the game, we need a Teferi going. And we play to win the game. We know they're drawing the Karn, so we have to. Oh, that's nice. We know they're drawing the Karn, so we have to fog on this turn. We'll probably fog regardless. We know we have to fog because it's four damage, puts us to three. Yeah. Untap, Gift, Land, Scanta. If we get another turn here, I think we're going to win. Like we got 35 cards left in our deck. We get to is Kanta twice a turn. Okay. We should be able to win from this spot. Unless they have a way to take our Teferi off the board. Yep, so there's Karn. They put, so they put Wizards Lightning into their hands. They might have hit like Lightning, Lightning. No, they're gonna do that to me, huh? So now we Nexus. Or we search for Azcana, not hit Nexus. I guess saying we can win from here is a little, okay. So again, Turbo Fog 101. Make sure that every time you take a draw step, there are as many nexuses in your deck as possible. Did you draw a counter spell? No. Okay, nice. So I wonder how I want to sideboard against this deck. Because they're like they're a little bit, you know, they're a little aggro-y. But they also like I also kind of want my negates. Like I kind of want negates and Knight of Autumn. I don't really want Nova. Let me get these settles out of here. I kind of want my charter courses, but not all of my fogs, but probably like their deck's very half and half. I think I want all four of these. Hedging and bringing in all four of these is always good because of Sorcerer's Spyglass. It also gives you a way to like, if you're mini going off to beat down. So we probably can get rid of these pauses. I'm just gonna cut these settles. These settles are just awful. Um, probably can cut Gift of Paradise is like not super great, especially if they're slowing down. Like they're likely going to slow down a little bit. Because I do think I need counter spells. So let's cut a couple of these. Let's cut one fog and bring in two negates. It's kind of willy-nilly sideboarding. I'm not super sure. There, there's an argument for Carnage Tyrant, but I think there might be a little too tempo-y for it. If we see them like slow down a lot after sideboard, then we can bring in the Carny Tees. The thick boy. This hand's not great, but it, we, we have our manas online. I mean, it's a little awkward, but if we get this Rejuvenator down, it's a body and it ramps us. We have a Nexus. So I think we're going to keep it. And if we hit it to Fairy, we have to Fairy plus Root Snare. That's not a bad draw. No Electromancer, there's these. Okay, so there's a little bit of a advantage. <clears throat> All right, so we're on this plan still. They're like a little derpy red blue burn deck with Karn, which I just don't get.
We're just gonna jam the rejuvenator. Well, no, we're just gonna jam the rejuvenator. Like they they can con us, but okay, that's all right. It's a counter. I guess I could have not played anything and then make like sunk their mana. Because now if they play a Karn here without us, oh, they're not playing a Karn. That is good for the home team. All right, there's our hero. So we're going to field this at the end of their turn. <clears throat> Why about the Baneslayer Angel? Maybe they'll do something stupid. Like, risk factor me here. Thank God for one planes. We're going to play it. I don't really want to run either of my... I guess I should have played Karn. Like, if I'm willing to take the defenses down, I should play the card that, like, is the best for me. And I can still get Spyglassed. So just gain the life. And gaining the life kind of makes those lightning strikes a mulligan. Because like the lightning strikes is the lightning strikes, they either kill me or do nothing in this matchup. So in some ways, our Knight of Autumn is kind of like a three for one now. Alright. Land off the top. Ooh, each one of these are pretty solid. I'm gonna get in the Pyromancer. Which means we can't tuck this with Teferi, because the Pyromancer will just kill it. But we can play our own Karn. No, I'm just going to play Teferi. Teferi is negate up afterwards. Always play Teferi. The mf -in Hero of Dominaria. <clears throat> so putting ionize back in their deck back in their hand so this is in their hand we know pyromancer's good they're shocking me Just tick this up. So I'd like to hit a land. So now we can go Karn plus Negate plus just Karn plus Negate, which I'm a fan of. Like we'll worry about their Karn when we have to worry about their Karn. We just go over the top of this. So like the little mediocre like grind them out plan is not that great. We also have Fog Up, which is good for the home team. There's making Lands. When I saw the announcement for Teferi getting errated, I thought they got rid of, like, they added another to it. And I was like, no. Which is probably how it should be. Like, Teferi's obnoxious. You can have a Yogate. Okay, Pyromancer's in. I'm definitely going to try to Root Snare. Because if they counter the Root Snare, I don't think they can counter it and kill Teferi. And if they fight over it, then we're just going to go nuts. Like, if they have Negate plus... Um, plus Lightning Strike, the game's over. Then, then like, good on them. I guess we're just going to cast this before we do anything. They could be sandbagging a counter spell, which they are. So 
So let's. I played a land already. Yeah, so let's go up with our Karn. Teferi Rejuvenator is nice. Now we don't really care if our Teferi dies. At some point, if we like things start to get scary, we can just stabilize. We can play two creatures. All right, well, you get a chemistry insight. And insight's not even that great for them because if they commit four mana on their main phase, then they're in some trouble. Risk factor. So they have chemistry insight. One other card. If they attack me for eight, I think I'm just going to take this damage. Go to eight. And then if they do it again, I'll let them draw. So I think we're just going to take this. Because I don't think there's any one card that kills me. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, if they flash this back, then I've obviously got to take it, but... So they have one unknown card. So we're going to start off one, two, three. One, two, three, four. I have a forest in exile that I can grab with my Karn. So let's play this first, see if we can coax out a counterspell so we get some perfect information. Gain for life. Draw a card, see what we hit. Put this in there, play it, and then we'll Nexus in our end step. They're going to cast their Insight, which um, you can just draw. I have a no. You can just draw the cards. Now the game should be over here. They discarded their Insight. Like, what value? And now we can chip away at this Karn, too. All right, we drew a gift. Nexus into Fairy. So that should be game over, because, like, we're going to go Karn's Temporal Sundering. Bounce this. Play my search. Get a Nexus next turn. Then we ult to Fairy <clears throat> with a backup. Yep. All right. Started the O two. Started the O two. Battling back. Though the worst feeling ever is when you go O two into three two or into two three. When you lose the last one, it's just awful. We have 34 viewers. I appreciate you all for showing up and hanging out today. I hope you're all having a good Saturday. Assuming everyone's here before their pre-release or they're not going to pre-release today. I can't go today. I gotta hang out with the old pupperoon. Then I'm gonna have some friends over. So I gotta clean my apartment. My wife's gone, so I tend to live a little a little sl more sloppy when my, as opposed to when my wife's here. God, I took Phil to the dog park this morning. We woke up probably 6.30, went to Starbucks, got coffee, which Starbucks is strictly worse than Dunkin' Donuts. I want everybody to – that's my opinion on that. I saw – um, I believe – I don't know her actual – I think her name, actual name's Alyssa. Played seven online pre-releases already. You're on it, follow, follow Donk. I played one. I had a kind of a cool Selesnya deck – that I made really greedy, and I splashed an Assassin's Trophy and a Doom Whisperer, even though I had the green, green, white, white card. And I knew it was greedy, and I probably shouldn't do it. I just wanted to play with the cards. 
And I beat every non-Demir deck I played. I think Demir is like the absolute stones. Now, what do you what do you think is tough about it? Is it tough to play against? Tough to build? What is tough there? Baller donk. Yeah, I think Demir is like just far and away like really good. Let's move back over to our to our deck building section. Yeah. It's like, I don't know if the Selesny deck wants to, like, curve out and beat down. Um, I think that the best the best decks that I've seen, um, the mono red deck's really good. Um, I think the green black deck is kind of overrated. I mean, maybe it's because I'm playing a deck that can, like, really handle that deck pretty well. Um, but I think the green black deck is kind of overrated. I think this deck's pretty good if you can figure it out, but like, we've got to figure that out. So let's add one. I think I just want a lot of cleansing novas. Um, I don't really want this Lyra. I kind of want Stani. Out quantity. We're, we're hit the deck building aspect of the stream in between games. Oh, I put an end in there. Tristani. I think this card is really is, is really good as well because people are ready for Lyra, and like the red decks have ways to kill Lyra. This Carnage Tyrant is likely not super great because everyone is... Like, there, there's not going to be a lot of control decks, I don't think. But I do think Teferi gets significantly worse in control decks because, like, the man is not good. You don't have as many really good cards to play with it. Um, I need to figure out two more cards to put in this deck. Oh, someone's calling me. I'll be right back. Right now, I love you. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you to see you. Bye. Bye. Oh, okay. My wife's coming home, which is great today. She's in Vegas for work, and she, she gets to come home a day early, which is nice. I want to put two cards in the main deck here. I don't really know what they are. I think Chemistry Insight is pretty poor overall. So i got to figure out two other cards to put in there. I just hate the four mana instants. I feel like people can Vegas. I don't think any of the four mana instants are very good. Yeah, dude, she's a big wig. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. This is like a potential. We have to, you know, we have to hit our curves. But this is like, if we get to fairy in play, especially on four, then we've got time walk, time walk. We're in pretty good shape. I think the Selesnia deck is probably pretty good. I think the Boros deck is probably decent. All right, so we're playing against a Demir deck. This is likely a tough matchup. I think I think the blue-black kind of fish deck is pretty solid against a deck like this. We do need to hit a land real bad. Like those guys. Come on, land. Oh, nice. Let's get the Rejuvenator in play as it's just a, a creature that can hit the battlefield. And it... It hits basically all the time, like, you know, famous last words. Just get a second blue. Uh, 
I played about four leagues with this deck, and I have missed on my Rejuvenator twice in 20 games or in 20 matches. So, like, between 40 and 60 games. What a tilt. All right, let's get in first. That's not being able to jam it to fairy there is kind of sad. Dude, I love... I love Shocklands. I love good mana. I think it, like... I think good mana in standard just lets you do so many cool things with deck building. What do we got? Do we got an Assassin's Trophy? Are we going to get trophied up? You going to trophy my land, bud? Which this isn't even that bad, because basically our Assassin's Trophy trades for a Gift of Paradise because we get the land back. It does kind of suck that we don't get the ramp, but we're much happier the Assassin's Trophy hitting our land than... And they should have done it in response, so we didn't gain life. Oh, we get some four-color nonsense. God, what a tilt. We're just going to keep poking in. I don't think my opponent can afford to, like, tap out and deal with this thing. Yeah, there's no Farseek. Yeah, Farseek would be nuts. I mean, Farseek was nuts, but... If Farseek was in Standard, or in Standard now, you'd have so many more of the mid-range decks... Because, like, you can just ramp on two. Fix your mana and get to your more powerful cards. Take it. Deal. Really need them to play something here so we can get a free window for our Teferi. Okay, they have their own Teferi. Are they going to bounce my gift? No. So now we're just going to jam our Teferi and tuck theirs. If they've got, like, a negate, then, like, good on them. Like, I don't know if main deck negate or disdainful stroke is going to be a thing, but. I only played standard when there was some dumb red green deck. The red green deck is going to be sweet next thing, because you're just going to be able to start throwing Elvish Mist, throwing Regisaur Alphas and Carnage Tyrants at each other. All right, there's a Contempt. Get our carny boy. What did we hit? Settle and gift. So nothing great. Gives us settle. <laughs> I love big dumb creatures. Love just running morons into each other. So the Teferi is the next card. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Till. It's like some four color amalgamation, amalgamation, whatever. Notion Rain. Here you go, Notion Rain into the Hero of Dominaria. No, they just don't. Hmm. Do you shuffle it away? One, two, three. They can cast a fairy. So we're not going to do this in the upkeep. We're going to try to end step it. The, the way to beat these control decks is to like lean on them. You know, tax their mana quite a bit. If you have a counterspell, if they have a counterspell here, things are going to be a little tough. That's cryptic mana. Okay, so this resolves. We're probably going to Nexus on our turn. I think there's merit to my opponent tucking my gift, unless they have another Sabotage. 
They had another sabotage than like gross. Let's do our fancy explore. Oh, they had another one. Yeah, we're like we're probably dead in the water now. Syncopate, no. To the plains, I belong. Yeah, there you go. Search is not a dead draw, but it's about as close as we get. Yeah, if they counter this. I think we're gonna we're gonna call it. Yeah, you you got it, opponent. Four color monstrosity. So I have a bunch of cards I want to bring in. Like I want these, I want these, and I want these six. It's 12 cards. We don't want the fogs. We don't want the settles. And then the next cards we cut are the gifts. Because the rejuvenators, we keep the rejuvenators over the gifts because if they assassin's trophy the rejuvenator, we've already got a land in play. It turns on charter course. We're bringing the knights in because we're worried about sorcerer's spyglass and it's just another beater. Though they have their own Teferi, so like the knights might not be that good, but which probably means they don't have spyglass. But it's just, it's just something you can board in. It hits their searches, but they likely have. Yep, this is a solid hand. And this is where if they Assassin's Trophy my search, then it's kind of going to turn on the rest of what we're doing. That was not a good draw. But getting our search in play is what we want to do. Okay, so they have a counter spell. No. Let's set our mana up. If they want to counter spell this, then like go on. Notion Rain. Whenever I think of Notion Rain, the Ocean Man song comes into my head. If a discard. Which makes that not as great for them. God, this would be a sick time for a Teferi. Um, no, we're going to hit our mana. So let's... So we're going to play this... We're going to get this here because we just want to have a creature to be able to turn on our charter cores. Purple rain equals notion rain. Ocean man plus purple rain. All right, we're just going to put two plus one plus one counters on this. We just want to turn on the chart. And if they want to burn a uh, removal spell on this, then more power to them. I am going to fight. If this is a Assassin's Trophy, I am going to fight. Where is this going at? So do I want to fight over this? Because I get to draw two cards off of my chart. I think I do. Leaves us a little naked to a Teferi. But if my opponent's willing to Assassin's Trophy this, I think I'm willing to fight over it. Ooh. We want to draw that. I think we're still going to Knight of Autumn plus Charter Course because I think they're, they're like representing a negate or something like that now. And if they want to negate the Charter Course, then like 
we're in pretty solid shape because we can then tuck their Teferi. And we're going to bust up their mana base. Like this, this is like a pretty sh sketch mana base. So let's see if we can draw a step. Probably whack this Watery Grave. Draw our one of field. Our mana's pretty set, so let's just get another island. I probably should have hit this one. Man, that is greedy. That's when you know you're in trouble. Because now we're hitting them on both ends here, which is kind of nice. And if they trophy this Knight of Autumn, they trophy the Knight of Autumn. Yes. Our Teferi is just going to resolve. Which is these. Control Z. Blue, white. Yeah, we'll take that. Now if we hit in a gate, we'll have the gate up. Which we didn't hit in a gate. Got it. So, something that is nice, having more creatures in this deck does make your charter courses real nice. Unmurmured Ego. Okay. So they just like taking a look here. They chose Carney Boy, which is smart. Sort of. Now I kind of want to board my Carnage Tyrants out, if that's what they're going to name. But they're probably going to name Teferi. Like this is probably the old Unmurmured Ego and Concede. Yeah, it is weird. It's like... It reminds me of those things in Alien vs. Predator, but it's a human's face. Like those things that jump on and eat your eat them. It's not eat them, they implant in them. Yeah, so here's the old... Let's scoop them up. So we should try to switch our boarding around a little bit, just to like take away a little bit from this card. You know what I mean? Like those things in Alien vs. Predator that jumped on the people and made it so like they could kill the people. All right, let's ditch a gift. Let's just bring the Lyra in just for another threat. It works with Temporal Sundering. I'm going to go grab some more coffee. You know what I'm talking about? Like an alien versus predator. Those things that came out and they like wrapped their faces around the people and then like the stuff would shoot out of their chest. Uh, I think we're going to keep this hand. We need to hit lands and hopefully they produce blue mana. Well, we got two heroes so we can get around like a thought eraser. Is that what they're actually, is that like the actual factual term face huggers? All right, we are two for two on lands. We are 0 for two on blue lands. OK, 
Okay. The old green white band deck. Hey, Kozil. We're just going to jam a Karn into this. Like, we're not going to let them insight. They can, like, then Teferi, but, like, hopefully we hit a land to Teferi tuck theirs, but nice. Search for, search for his Kanta and Temporal Sundering. Yeah, dude, there's some there's some shenanigans going on. Oh, okay, so that's nice. Give me the three for as you free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. All right, here comes the hero. So we're just going to play Teferi because next turn we can play Teferi and protect it. But we've got two. So that gets countered. Oh, I could have played around that. I never play around Syncopate. Did you say free throw? I don't think I did. Oh, that duress is so bad. Oh, man. We're dead. And I tossed it, too. I should have just played my land untapped. I have, I have like, so much... Ugh. Yeah, I mean, it was nasty because I messed up. All right, well, there's our boy to save us. So let's ditch this Sundering. Let's make this guy big. And I do think I'm going to fight over whatever they use to uh, deal with this. Because I would like this Teferi to have to tick down. Yeah, we are definitely in danger. I think it's like blue, black control, splash, splashing to fairy, sla splashing assassin's trophy. I think that's what's going on. All right, I'm going to fight over this. Attack the hero. What is this? Settle? Okay. Yes. Let's get an island. So the question is, do we want a nexus? We probably want a nexus. And we can just cast the carny boy on our next turn. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can do both. So let's get this guy out here. We'll take the field. Dude, what if my opponent mission mission briefings me? into a settle the wreckage here. We're totally gonna play into it. Like if they I think I don't think we can we can't just sit here and peck at this Teferi. It's about to ultimate. So if they have another settle then like good on them. Oh my God. 
So maybe we can bust their mana up. Probably hitting this under this overgrown tomb. I can't believe that worked. Carny boy is coming to town. Carny boy is coming to town. Shouldn't have tapped my islands. Alright, nice. Oh, not nice. We got another Teferi. We got Cleansing Nova. Sweet. Again, we're just going to get wrecked by Settle of the Wreckage, but like, such is life. I think I'm gonna cast this Nexus on their turn. Because like they, they if they don't have if they don't have settle the wreckage, then they either have spot removal or counter spells. So I don't really want to like give it give them the value on our turn. Woodland Cemetery. So let's see if we can. Do some, do some nexusing. Yeah, this is gonna get countered. Okay. Just make this a big guy. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Like this deck is sweet. We played against two sweet decks so far today. Nice. All right, chat, help me out here. We got the 3 2. We got to make a couple card changes. Add commands. Let's see what this is. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so we need a couple more cards. We need to put two more cards in our main deck chat. What are we thinking? I'm going to tweet this out. Tagging you. Tagging you there, Archmage. What are the main problems? Like, huge struggles you have. When I see a good clip, I can make it. I think I struggle against the aggro decks. We go over the top of the control decks, but I want to beat up on the aggro decks. So, how many, what do we got here for the goods? I want to pick up a Tristani. Maybe it's worth just main decking these Tristanis because they just like hold the hold the ground so good. I think if I'm going to play the Centaur, we might as well just play Knight of Autumn in our main deck. Assure slash assemble card. Assure slash assemble. Put a plus one plus one encounter on a target creature. It gains indestructible in a turn. Create three. I'm not sure if that. I'm not sure how good that one is, Wrath. Let's open up this treasure chest while we think. We have 40 play points. Nice. Dude, hopefully we open a bunch of these, Rafi. Alright, what we're gonna do, I need to buy some I need to buy some tickets. So hang on. 
We're gonna put this up. Let me go buy some tickets here. Let me stop.